Alright, so reading for Aquarius, it's going to be more about you, but it's a November Aquarius. So, I'm going to use my psychic tarot. Um, it's going to be all about you, so lovely. It can be about anything, family, money, anything that's going on. Um, if you resonate, drop me a comment down below, like and share, and subscribe if you haven't already that did. Do one more, I've already done these cards for you. So, we'll do Aquarius Sun and Rising. Yeah, so you're trying to build a firm foundation or something, right? and it's something you believe is destiny. But you've had a lot of temptations, and there's been a lot of disruption as well. You've been trying to move on, move forward in the right direction. You've been taking your authority back, um, and you sacrificed a lot of stuff. You had a lot of heartache and losses over the situation. You had to find balance in the situation so you could move forward positively. You've been basically fighting your shadow, so the person that you've been having these, this, whatever's been going on, is your shadow so showing you that light so like before you come here you probably made an agreement with this soul to to do this to each other so you would awaken to this so you would you know do what you had to say about it so you could do what you had to do yes it's a bit of fulfillment of wishes solar plexus and that's like your third chakra healing that's that's like childhood stuff as well so this could be related to stuff that to do with your childhood um, trauma that could have happened in your childhood maybe um, but there's been deception and envy. You are being guided by the universe, of what I was just saying. Really. It's all being done for a reason. Um, but it's given you a lot of obstacles and challenges. And you could feel like, yeah, you could feel like you're about to have a breakthrough, a triumph and success. You're like just seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Maybe Aquarius, yeah. Conflict and defeat at the moment. So maybe you've got a lot of arguments going on around you or you're just feeling defeated in a situation. But yeah, you could be able to use a lot of strength at this time. Oh. A lot of strength at this time over a two of cups situation. You could have someone come back from the past who already have as well. Um, you kind of having to use your mind a lot at the moment, Aquarius, and to tame, like she's tamed a lion. You could have a Leo in your situation. You could have a Leo that you have a two of cups situation with, where it's all my relationship. There is a Leo there as well, and this person could have come back from your past. Somebody that you were with a long time ago, maybe, or somebody that's past life connection, almost. Yeah, and you may have to take like another look at the situation like closer so you can see what's really going on. Maybe there's stuff going on you don't realise. All the stuff you need to see about this that you don't realise. Um, yeah, this is saying publication, the ability to be in two prison in two places at one time. I don't know if you can do that. But this person's talking shit with people you know, and the Pied Piper and all these rocks. So, I feel like the situation is someone, maybe someone's come back from your past, and maybe at the moment you're feeling like you're stuck in a place, you can't move forward easily. Oh, I'll get one more card in there. You can be using your crown chakra, okay, so other people are seeing you as having new beginnings, Aquarius, moving forward in something. Inside yourself, you're feeling like you've been defeated in some way, but other people aren't seeing that. They're seeing you as moving forward, keeping your guard up, having ending cycles to begin new, and maybe a little bit stuck in your head over the situation, maybe not talking to other people as much about it as you normally would. Maybe you're being a bit quiet, yeah, taking a gamble. Maybe that's why you're feeling defeated by something. Um, yeah, on a two of cups situation, so you, you had two doors. Okay, so you've left something and you're moving forward towards something else, but you're feeling like, um, yeah, defeated, I suppose. Maybe you could be dealing, yeah, that's you. But you've got your sword up ready to fight, so even though you're moving forward to something new, maybe the old is still very close behind. Let's get some of them in.
Yeah, you want a recognition or award moving forward. Um, but maybe the problem is, is people you've had endings with are coming forth to talk again. And they want to give an account of how, you know, what sins were made by you. So people are wanting to come, basically, that's why you're having conflict and defeat. The people from the past, the people you've moved away from, or the person you've moved away from, wants to talk. They want to say what they want to say about what's happened in this situation. And you're trying to stop that from happening. So, maybe you're in this, yeah, justice is coming. So, so Aquarius, I feel like you've moved forward into a new situation and you just wanted to do that with the ease and without anybody actually having anything to say about it. And people are now starting to talk because other people aren't accepting the fact that you can just go into something new and forget about the old. So, it's almost like that's your past is coming forward. <laughs> To say what they need to say, um, exactly what you expect is going to happen. Someone's been doing heavy candle magic on person as well. Uh, what is the secret? It could be an uh, that's a magician awareness. So what you're keeping the secret is that you're very aware of what's going on. Maybe that's why you're having conflicts and defeat. Other people seeing you have a new beginning should be happy. But actually, you know what's going on in the past. And this may have something to do with someone being a player, someone having secrets and keeping things from other people. And that could have been because somebody was moving very slowly towards something else, maybe, because somebody else, somewhere else could have been pregnant. So the person you have a new beginning with, they may be pregnant. And um, yeah, new love, because of choices. So there's an empress, there's a later stage pregnancy, and the truth is about to come out. So... So you even kept that a secret, maybe, that there's somebody in the background that is pregnant. That's why you moved towards somebody else. But you thought maybe the old person would be quiet and they're not being. Maybe you thought you got away with it. Yeah, they tried to make you the fool, but you knew. Or you try to make that other person the fool and they knew. Somebody could be married and someone's fucked up big time and, and he's in trouble now. So you're trapped in fear because of what you feel is about to be revealed maybe to this other person. Maybe on how long it's been going on as well. Maybe the other person didn't even know that there was someone else you were moving towards. Maybe you just haven't got on with that person yet. But there's a truth now coming with King of Cups. Someone may come in with an apology but they've got lots of fish around them. So maybe that's what you thought of, maybe you thought of, because this is why you kept this a secret, that you couldn't go on in with two women apology with pregnancies around your, you, that is the case. You knew this would cause, cause heartache, and that may have been to a cancer person or Scorpio, so you may just start single. So you had to be single in this situation, because there was too much going on, and later stage of pregnancy as well. Yeah, and maybe you didn't want this knowledge to come out, so you didn't want somebody to get the key to the knowledge of this new relationship and why this new relationship is happening. You wanted to keep that a secret, maybe. <laughs> yeah, a new birth, yeah, a new day, a new door, a new birth. Got the base chakra there, that's your foundation. Yeah, what you're... <laughs> So you're needing to stand your ground. On your conscious mind, you need to stand your ground. So I'm not saying this other person's never done nothing wrong, because they probably have. But you obviously got yourself in a bit of a pickle. And I must be, I should assume I'm talking about a male, because I might be talking about females. Don't know. Yeah, you need to stand your ground on a relationship. Something that you did cross somewhere where you did, were juggling for a while, something you tried to ignore. Um... The juggling, this, like there's a pregnancy in the juggling, a late stage pregnancy, which is obviously now about to come out. Yeah, time's ticking. Someone's being guided by that and destined. Of a commitment. Maybe re guided, maybe you were guided to have a commitment with this person, this other person. I saw one flip, yeah. Yeah, and you're struggling. Maybe you're struggling because you, maybe you, you're in the person that you've left. You've had lots of, like, you've gone back lots of times, but this passion, this new birth, 
Yeah, I feel it's probably with a water sign. I can't survive with a scorpion. Maybe you felt left out and you like crying over spilt milk with this person as well. Yeah, you tried to keep it on the low. So you had two relationships going on, basically, Chris. You tried to keep them on the low. One of them on the low, for definite. How dumb are these people for real? So you thought someone was just dumb and wouldn't realise. And maybe they have realised and not effed you up a little bit. Something about the north. And this person needs, someone needs to grow up. So. Okay, in your heart, maybe you knew this wisdom was going to come out, you know, you couldn't keep this wisdom to yourself on this family situation, he's got like the book there of knowledge, and there's his family behind, so you're leaving behind another family to go and start another family, it's just beginning, maybe you've been working on your money, but you've been in your head about this for a while, yeah. You've been guarded as well with your money and your time and your everything. Yeah, and yeah, it's always like blindfolding yourself to a truth, but now the truth has to come out. It has to be it's being spoken. I don't think you've got any choice in the matter as well either, yeah. You could be quite jealous over a situation as well at the moment. You feel like you've been made to move from a situation when you weren't ready. Yeah, so you was your felt you was your anchor, but it's another child is happening, so you can't. You can't move forward. Um, you're forced to move forward, aren't you? You've got like, no choice because somebody else is having a baby somewhere else. I feel like you're trying to like stop. Um, yeah, maybe you try. You were trying to act single, so other people wouldn't see. But maybe with this Queen of Swords, which is your energy, and um, you tried to, you tried to make things look like they, like, what was really going on wasn't what was going on. Don't go away with this. Don't go away with anyone at this time, and trust your gut feeling. Good hospice care, and the only way they think they can get you is spell work. It could be heavy spell work going on in this situation, I don't know. Let's have a look. You need one more card on that. You need to heal your heart chakra. You need to take time in your soul. You maybe you know you need to take time on your own and think about all of this before. Yeah, take time because you've got the four of so you're not kind of you're discontent and bored. It's not disc I don't even feel you're discontent and bored. I feel like you've got a situation where you've got somebody who you've been with maybe a long time and you're with that person and you're with somebody else and they get pregnant and then you know that you have to send the messages and there's things that are going to happen that are going to make this go off the rocker and there's nothing you can do about it because somebody else is pregnant so you're feeling that maybe you've, you've left somebody and not told them the whole story just tell them that you want to be single but you um there's somebody else pregnant in the background yeah And somebody could be doing dodgy things with money as well. So I always see that with that card. Like they have drips and drafts of money. Lots of money, not lots of money. And I feel like also, in your soul, you've got contracts with somebody. Maybe you've got a mortgage with somebody. You've got a whole life with somebody that you're leaving. So there's lots of paperwork. There's lots of stuff going on. Someone's going to get caught with a sister. And car issues that need to be checked. Yeah. They're lying to themselves. That could be even worse. It could be a situation where it's a family member that you're trying to move to that's pregnant. That would be like awful. <laughs> oh my God. Solving problems with violence. The letter V. And someone's got erectile dysfunction. And the conclusion of this is it's a waiting game. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, Claire. That could be really good if that's the case. Yeah. Okay, so we could have a Leo involved in the situation, or an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, and then we could have an Aries involved in the situation. Somebody could be walking away from both those people. This is the conclusion. <laughs> wow. 
because they've been up at night time, so they want to have a new beginning, but they were given to too many people, so... <coughs> yeah. You definitely got, you're in a relationship with somebody at this time, and someone on the home, and then the other woman, so... Oh. All I'm going to say is the person that you've left is very aware now of this person over here on this home situation. And that home could be that them two were in a home maybe. Somebody was very loyal in a situation there probably. So, yeah. Somebody's been in your home while you were out and... <laughs> yeah, someone was... They're evil. You were never meant for this person. Or that person was never meant for anybody that's been with them. Someone's there in a gym and that's it and they're a hope. Uh, I don't really think I can go much further in this situation. I feel like you're leaving somebody. I feel like you probably have got someone else pregnant and you're moving forward in this situation. And somebody's, somebody's very aware. He's trying to keep it a secret, but you can't really keep it a secret because they know already. So I'd say, yeah, that's the conclusion. It's probably it's going to go mad. <laughs> anyway, love and light. Take care. Bye, Aquarius.